Hey guys, what's up? Brian here for a tutorial on the ghosting effect in After, not After Effects, Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is what it will look like when it's done. Just a pretty simple effect. Uh, looks like there's kind of a ghost. Uh, I used this for a video about a year ago, and this is the footage, so it's not new, fresh footage, it's pretty old footage, but uh, this should be your final result. Uh, it actually looks pretty good for a simple effect. It takes about a minute to do once you get the uh, concept down. So I'm going to just delete what I have here, and uh, you're going to file, then you're going to new project. I already have my project open, so I'm not going to do that. Then you would input your clip, so you go to import, then files, and uh, pick whatever you want. But my clip's already in here, so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to highlight these and drag them right into my timeline. And then once they're in, I'm going to re-highlight them, then command L to get the audio out. Since I knew this was going to be for a, video, a music video, it's kind of unnecessary just for the audio to be in there. So you command L to unlink the clips, and then you can just simply delete them. Then you have these two just like this. And uh, the two shots that I have here is when you're filming this, you're going to want to film just a... Uh, kind of a background plane shot with no action and you can take a picture if you want to but I like to uh, just take a normal shot to keep the dimension size the same and uh, you can always slow-mo it if you aren't satisfied with it and then uh, the shot of your ghost uh, shot then you're going to um it's this is extremely easy uh, you're just gonna put this over top of this in the V2 and uh, I think this is a little bit I cut this a little bit earlier so you're gonna make sure you're cuts line up here so uh... that looks about good actually uh... then we're gonna see where this ends my computer's running really slow so uh... yeah i'm gonna want to end this right here to do a little bit kind of like a fade out effect so uh... we're just gonna press b to get the crop and then a to get the uh... the selector again there the mover and i'm gonna delete what i have there and then this is where you get the ghosting part and this is so easy you're just gonna double click the uh... thing on v2 which would be the actual footage then you're going to motion opacity and turn it down to about probably about 30 40 percent and then uh so there's your you, you already have your ghost and if that's good enough for you then that's great but we're going to make it better so uh don't render quite yet um uh, because we're going to add an effect to it now and in the effects you're going to go to video filters and glow and the uh the thing that i add is gloom because if you add glow it adds a glow not just to the ghost but to the whole image and it just doesn't end up looking good but the gloom softens it a little bit more and it just makes it a little bit better so you're gonna go to gloom uh... if you want to mess around you can go to filters and mess around a little bit but i think it usually looks pretty good off the default so that's basically it uh... I'm gonna add one more thing and uh... that's gonna be like kind of like a fade in and fade out so it kind of looks more ghost like like he appears out of the blue so we're gonna press p for the pen tool and then we're gonna go uh, kinda set a fade in just for this clip and that way he just fades into the shot uh, make sure that looks good maybe a little bit slower and then we're gonna do the same thing with a fade out and that's basically it we're gonna render this out hopefully it's nice and fast uh, my computer's running pretty slow uh, so it might take some time but uh... okay about six minutes i think i might just cancel this out just to show you the fade in uh, effect but uh, or am I fast forward? So I'm gonna start the fast forwarding now.
All right, three, two, one, and we're back. So um, the rendering's over, and uh, this is basically what you're gonna get for your final video. Uh, so it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be a fade in, and this was kind of awkward. This is what I was talking about in the beginning when it was kind of awkward, but I kind of didn't cut it. But it's all right. Uh, it's just a tutorial. Uh, so it's gonna fade in, and then uh, just fade out just like that, and it gives it a real nice effect. So there you go. Hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, uh, subscribe and show your friends because that would help me out a lot because I'm trying to get this channel started and growing. So see you guys and thanks for watching.